Hi there! In this video, I'll show you how to save substantial cost on certain parts by using pre-shaped stock material and adding custom features, such as holes and cutouts. In this 3D view, we have examples of two types of common pre-shaped stock material, a rectangular tube and a round tube. Let's close the 3D view and look at how these shapes are normally modeled in the eMachine Shop CAD software. We have the outer contour with a large Z value of 10 inches in the example and the inner contour as air inside. The problem with this is that it tells eMachine Shop to machine both of these contours from a solid block of material. That can take significant machining time and be expensive or even impractical for some shapes. Let's delete the round tube and focus on the rectangular tube. To get the economical advantage of using stock material, click the outer contour line, then click the machine button and check the stock material wall box. Click OK. That tells eMachine Shop to not machine that line. Notice this icon which confirms stock material. Now we will do the same thing for the inner contour of the rectangle. Notice there are now two icons. Looking again at the 3D view, we see that we still have the same shape. Now that we have created the stock shape economically, let's see how we can add features. Suppose, for example, we want a one-inch hole in the center. We'll draw a circle here and set the diameter to one inch. We'll make the hole go through both sides of the rectangle by setting Z to air inside. Next, suppose we want a rectangular feature that goes through just one of the sides. To do that, draw a rectangle and set Z to the wall thickness, for example, minus 0.2. Looking at the 3D view, we can see that we have the hole going through both sides and the rectangular cutout only going through one side. All we need to do now is add a comment indicating the particular stock material, such as McMaster number 123456. You can use stock shapes that are round, rectangular, I-beam, L-beam, or whatever else you can find to significantly lower the cost of machining these type of parts. Be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.